Hello, I'm Julie Meek, sports dietitian. Today we're making a breakfast, and a really simple breakfast. Having said that, I think that many of us really struggle with deciding what to have, whether we'll have anything at all. And I know that some of you watching this will be worried about the fact that you never feel like breakfast. And that might be because you haven't done that for a long time, you've got no appetite. And that's okay, but this recipe that we're going to do in a moment is one that anybody could put together. It's got three ingredients, it's super healthy, and I think you'll really enjoy it. What we've got here today is some natural yogurt, but you could use flavoured low sugar yogurt also. There is some granola, which I'll talk about in a moment, and we've got a blueberry chia jam. Now, blueberry chia jam is pretty amazing. It just has three ingredients. It has frozen blueberries, a little bit of water, and some chia seeds. And the chia seeds are miraculous because they, once they get into the liquid, they help set. So within the space of 10 to 15 minutes, you have this beautiful ooey gooey jam that you can use on yogurt, you can actually put on toast, you can put pretty much on anything. So we're using that instead of using high sugar jam. And it's a nice way of having a, a container of fruit compote in the fridge that you can pull out whenever you like during the week. When you're choosing a granola, it's tricky. If you think about the supermarket and how many cereals are on the shelves, it is absolutely overwhelming, I get that. There's some important things that you need to look at when you're looking at a nutrition label with any cereal, but particularly with granola. Granola can traditionally be quite high in fat and quite high in sugar. So when you're looking at a label, it's important that you look at the per 100 gram column. And for the fat content, you're looking for less than eight grams per 100 gram serve, and for the sugar, less than 10. As soon as you start looking at that on a cereal packet, you'll find that there's lots that don't fit into those two boundaries. So granolas can be tricky, but you will find a few on the shelves that will be okay. The fiber is really important as well, and that's what we want in a cereal. Breakfast is something that you need to get some fiber, some fruit, some protein, and you need all of those things combined to keep you fuller for longer. So that by morning tea time, you're not then looking for the next thing to eat. And I think that can be a problem for some of us when we're getting to midway between breakfast and lunch and then thinking, what else can I have? So this granola cup that we're making today is perfect for just that. So what we'll do first of all is put the yogurt into the cup. It doesn't really matter what order you put these in, but that's what I would usually do. So yogurt goes straight into the glass or the cup, whatever you happen to be using. If you want this to be a portable breakfast, which it, it can be most definitely, then you could use a container with a lid or you could actually use a jar. If you've got a jar with a nice tight lid on it, then you can take it with you to work or Kids can take it on the way to school. It's a really easy one. You can make it the night before if you want to and then it's ready to go. The next thing that we'll put in is the granola. And that is just a simple matter of shaking it into the cup or the glass. So granola is in and now all we need to do is add the blueberry chia jam or whatever fresh fruit you have because it really doesn't matter. The nice thing about the blueberry jam is it's really colourful. And berries are super high in antioxidants. They're really low in sugar, so they're a really good fruit to have. And with frozen fruit, you can put them in the freezer, obviously, but they are there for when you need them. You don't need to worry about getting out to the shops to get them. And it's a really good item to have in your house because they are so convenient. They're really affordable as well. And sometimes when there is limited fruit, depending on the season, the berries are always available in the freezer section of your supermarket. So here we have it, the granola cup. Yogurt, granola, and berries on top. Do it in whatever way you like to do it and use whatever fruit you have and whatever's in season. But that would have to be one of the easiest, simplest breakfasts that you can enjoy at home or you can take wherever you're going. Fantastic.